Hey guys, welcome back to another Botissimo tutorial. My name is Toby and today I will be showing you how to utilize the chat timers in Botissimo's dashboard and in your stream. Chat timers are a great way to make a call to action to viewers in your chat, such as getting them to follow on other social media platforms, donating to your stream, or really just bringing attention to anything you want. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and get right into it and figuring out how to use chat timers. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go up into the left-hand corner and hit create timer. And as you can see, this is gonna bring you all the customization options that you can do when you are setting up a chat timer. Now, if you've set up any other feature in Bottissimo before, this is gonna look really similar and it's gonna be super easy to get a hold of. So the first thing you wanna do is just create a timer name. So for me, I'm just gonna put example. The response is basically the text that the bot will send to the chat when the timer is active. Activated. So you can also use response variables and response directives to create really powerful and dynamic messages and behaviors for your timer. So in this instance, I'm just going to make it very simple. I'm not going to use any response variables. And what I'm going to write is follow us on Twitter at Bottissimo. So once the timer runs out, and that's what the bot is actually going to send into the chat. Platforms is basically limiting which platforms the timer actually works on as a whole. So if you unclick one of these, which I'm gonna do with Discord, then that means that it will not work on Discord. So I've gone ahead and already unchecked Discord because I know I don't want it to work in there. The interval is how often you want the timer to run. So this must be between five and 60 minutes. So essentially what happens is as soon as there's a threshold of messages that are hit in your chat that have been sent, then a timer will start and that timer will count down to zero. And once it hits zero, then the message that you put in the response will be displayed in your chat. The throttle is the number of messages that must have been sent in the previous five minutes for the timer to actually activate. So in this case, we have to have five messages in our chat before the timer actually starts to count down from five minutes to send our message into the chat. I'm gonna leave this at five for both the interval and throttle just because I think that's a good number right there, but feel free to play around with these and see what works for you. The description is just a description for yourself so it can help you kind of remember and recognize what commands do what. In the advanced options, you can limit the connections that the timer actually works on. So if you have two different accounts that is linked to your Bottissimo account, then you can limit which account that you want it to work on. So if I choose Vanguard Network Twitch, then it's only gonna work on the Twitch side of my account. I'm gonna leave it at all connections for now because that's just how I want it. The alias is when you wanna use this timer to call a command. So this is really an advanced setting that can just be left empty. So now that we've got all of our settings tweaked and adjusted, we're gonna go ahead and click create, and that will create our first chat timer. So we know this will work, or we can figure out if it works by going into our Vanguard network chat right here, sending five messages. The chat timer will begin and it'll count down from five minutes. And as soon as it hits zero, it will display as a message that we just put in our Bautismo chat timer, which was follow us on Twitter at Bautismo. So let's say we wanna have a more complicated and more detailed message for our chat timer. Well, we can do this using response variables and response directives. So if you go back to the actual command that you made right here, and you go to your response, you can actually use response variables and response directives to make really cool and unique uh, chat timer messages. So in this case, I have a simple one just lined up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it. For this one, I'm using something called the rotate response variable, which will allow me to rotate through a set of messages each time the chat timer is used. So you can see here that we have our command here, the dollar sign and then the parentheses rotate, which means it'll rotate through three different messages. And it says, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for announcement at the end of the stream. So when I use this function and I go ahead and hit save and I go back to my Twitch stream, I send another five messages. One, two, three, four, five. You can see that the message will display one of the pre-selected ones I typed out in that function. So either subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, or stay tuned to the end of the stream for a big announcement. So those are the three that it'll rotate to. And that's all there really is to chat timers. It's super simple to set up and provides a ton of value to your stream and your viewers by making it super accessible to view other content by you. If you have any more questions, feel free to join our community discord where there's a ton of like-minded individuals just looking to grow their individual brand and stream while using Bautismo at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.